Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Let's take the 14 days of today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 18th of July. And we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the SNG Affairs. And each other ensembles. Maybe we're going to try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into early August. I should get time back for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video release today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. Cars, please like, share, and subscribe on all our stages of content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gaz Webbers. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, we're going to start off in the uh, tropics. Well, we're going to start off in Southern America, actually. So uh, we've got uh, reanimated Hurricane Beryl just here moving onto the Texas coast. Category 1 hurricane giving maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour with a minimum sex pressure of 980 millibars moving at 12 miles per hour northwards. Clicking on there, remember this was a Category 5 hurricane around Jamaica last week. Um, then went down to a tropical storm. Gulf Mexico power back up to Category 1 hurricane. We'll be back down to tropical storm status shortly. Currently, Category 1 hurricane barrel is on the Texas coast, but will be moving inland as a tropical storm, heading up towards um, Arkansas and then up into the Midwest as a post-tropical depression. That should then be the end of Beryl. But what a storm. Uh, Beryl has been, hasn't she? You know, absolutely amazing for so early in the hurricane season. Unbelievable. Uh, well, getting a real soaking of uh, pretty severe weather down there, Texas, at the moment. Coming back home, sensory temperature is uh, currently sitting at 13.8. That's uh, 2.1 degrees below 61 to 99 average provisional to yesterday to the 7th of July. I think that's about as far as it's going to get. That should start ticking up. Um, within the next day or two, I would imagine it'll gradually start increasing. And it looks like that's going to play out very similar, actually, to uh, how June played out with a very cool start. And then uh, gradually, you know, a, a slow and gradual uh, warm-up. These are 500 millibar height only flow charts from Penn State University. We've got the ECM WF on the top and the GFS on the bottom. Uh, these are covering the 7 to 10 day time frame, of course. 500 millibars, 80,000 metres in area, and the actual high pressure, low pressure have uh, been moved around by the jet stream running above. Uh, red and orange extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. You can see that ECM has a trough of low in the Atlantic to the west of the UK and Ireland in the 7 to 10 day time frame, and quite a big ridge over and to the east of the country. So a bit of a battle going on there. The high pressure tried to take over from the east, but the low pressure in the Atlantic is trying to keep things unsettled. GFS is more unsettled. In the 10 day time frame, high pressure is further away, more in towards the east and southeast of Europe, and uh, low pressure is deeper in the Atlantic. So uh, that would be pretty unsettled conditions across uh, much of uh, northern and western Europe, actually, for the 7 to 10 day time frame. So a bit of a difference there between the GFS and the ECM in the 7 to 10 day time frame. Um, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Northampton today, local to me. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average in Northampton, starting off a bit below average at the moment, ticking up um, through tomorrow and into Wednesday, but it's associated with an area of low pressure. Been a bit cooler again, actually, through the middle and second half of the coming week before we revert closer to average. No sign, really, of any particularly hot weather coming up. We have got some. Um, very warm on some members. Some of them are going at about 15 degrees at uh, 850 kg. That's like standard warm conditions in July. That gets us about 30 degrees probably. GFS operational run actually does that right at the very end. But there's no sign of like any excessive hot outliers going to 20 or 25 degrees at 850 kg, such as we've seen over some recent summer. So at the moment, it's more toned down, typical British summer, I would say actually looks set to continue. Does look very unsettled though tonight and tomorrow. Big precipitation spike there. Um there's gonna be a lot of rain coming up tonight and tomorrow. And then after that just generally rather mixed. You know, there's plenty of precipitation spikes there from start to finish. I wouldn't necessarily say a deluge, but certainly it looks pretty unsettled, I think. 
for uh, the next week, 10 days anyway, and maybe even beyond that. Temperature anomaly is from the 8th to 16th of July, just a little bit below average, but still on the cooler side of average. Um, precipitation anomaly is from the 8th to 16th of July, most places looking a little bit wetter than normal. So it remains a pretty disappointing outlook, I think, actually, for the next week. Uh, Lace Whipper Map of Earth and Old .net shows we've got quite a big area of low pressure just to the southwest of the UK and Ireland. That's our next um, spell of rain coming up from the south of the southwest through this afternoon, tonight, and then pushing up to the northern half of the country into tomorrow. Okay, let's start going to the chart data then. So that area of low pressure I was just showing you on the wind flow map will be to the east of Scotland then uh, by the time you get to the Thursday. This way you can make your own run for Thursday. Low pressure clearing away, high pressure trying to ridge from the Atlantic. Rather showery, a bit on the cool side for Friday. And then into the weekend, gradually pressure rising from the west. So we finish up under this, um, it's almost an area of high pressure. I could say a ridge. That's actually an area of high pressure forming, I think. More or less over top of the country by 15th of July. So the UK mate is settling things down. Probably a bit cool still under that high and probably a bit cloudy, at least initially. Anyway, but as I said, it's gradually starting to uh, settle things down, I think, there as we go through the weekend. I can't take that low pressure away to the east on Thursday. And then high pressure out to the west, which high pressure to the west, bringing in means north to northeast winds into the weekend. They'd like to have quite a lot of cloud with them, and there could be some showers as well. By the end of the icon run, nowhere near as strong with that build of pressure, and we've got another low <laughs> lurking and waiting in the wings just to our southwest. It looks like that gets to Monday um, next week, 15th of July. It looks like we're about to do, like today, all over again, actually, with that low uh, coming in from off the Atlantic. What about the KMA? Again, that takes the low pressure away to the east on Thursday, um, but keeps low pressure generally to the south, the east of the country, into the weekend with a, with a ridge and area of high pressure out to the west and to the northwest. Into next week, the next low coming in from off the Atlantic, so really quite an unsettled KMA run today. Low pressure in the ascendancy there all the way up to the 20th of July. This is how the GFS midnight run looks. Once more, we've got low pressure clearing away to the east on Thursday. High pressure out to the west leads us in this rather coolish and sort of showery north northeasterly wind. Into next week, the next areas of low pressure start coming in. So uh, probably a bit drier over the weekend, a bit cool too. Uh, and then next week, we're back to more unsettled conditions. Now, by day 10, the uh, midnight GFS run trying to build up Bit of a ridge from the southwest, but the next low just flattens that off. And uh, we keep it pretty changeable through the third week of July as well. GFS midnight run. Although eventually, look at this, we do get a ridge building out to our east. That brings the wind up from the south with low pressure out to the west. Perfect recipe to start pulling up some heat. But it's some very hot air sitting over France, Spain and Portugal by the end of the GFS midnight run. Looks like it wants to push northwards. So um, that could turn hot, but also thundery and volatile. It's over two weeks away. <laughs> over two weeks away, though. 24th of July, so probably won't verify. This is a GFS 6 head. Lots in comparison. Again, there's that low clear away to the east on Thursday. Uh, then we're trying to get a ridge going, but not really. Um, it just stays rather showering, quite cool into the weekend. Next week, we uh, bring more low pressure in from off the Atlantic as well for about days 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're on the hot 500 millibar height to nominee flow chart. There is a build of pressure, though. It happens through the third week of July. This was 20th of July, quite a nice ridge building from the uh, Azores, and uh, we go off and running then into what looks like quite a prolonged spell of high pressure into the final week of July. Not necessarily a heat wave, because we're bringing the wind in from like a northeasterly direction around the high, but certainly much, much warmer than we've had, and uh, much drier as well. So we do eventually get high pressure, but it takes a long time. It's beyond day 10, and therefore very unreliable. If you enter on the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worries. Get them to subscribe, too. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We're grinding 
to, uh, ooh, I don't know, we're grinding to uh, 19 caps. So sorry, everybody. So uh, please give us a sub. Thank you so much for doing that. GM, again, we've run low pressure in the North Sea on Thursday. A better ridge building out to the west through uh, Friday into the weekend. Keeps us in like a northeasterly flow. Probably a bit showery, especially in the east. Next week, look at this. Oh, dear. Quite a significant low coming in from the Atlantic. Keeping the unsettled weather going up to date um, with uh, the jam. And they've got the ECM WF uh, rounding it all off, taking the uh, low pressure away to the east on Thursday. They've got another low just to our southeast through to Friday. That's a bit different to some of the other model out, but uh, that keeps it very unsettled actually for some of the eastern regions. Probably heavy, fungy rain there Friday to Saturday. Um, that's, that's a bit different some of the other model output for the end of the week. And then into next week, well, just uh, shallow areas of low pressure, keeping things unsettled until about day 10. And then higher pressure starts trying to ridge in from uh, the southwest. So starting to settle down perhaps by day 10 there with the ECM. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tobetshow.com. Up comes all of this rain tonight and tomorrow. Bit of a deluge, but the gardens need it. Uh, that's what we tell ourselves anyway, isn't it? Uh, tomorrow, that wet weather goes up to Scotland and becomes showery eventually across England and Wales. And then into the middle part of the week, well, further unsettled weather to come. Uh, we've got this heavy rain in the south and in the southeast by the end of next week. Remember, other miles are a little bit different about that. Um, but it does look very, very wet across east and southern areas if that low does come up from the south on uh, Thursday and Friday. Into the weekend, that gets out of the way and go a bit drier for a couple of days, but uh, more showery conditions coming in for next week, so uh, the unsettled weather goes on. That's day 10, and even then, despite that build of pressure, um, we are still actually looking... Uh, oh, no, it's not what we're doing. <laughs> OK, so that's day 10. OK, bye then. We're turning uh, a, lot dry, a lot drier. That's the 18th of July. What are you doing, Gav? Right, this is the Yacht Shopper Table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Gets us to the 18th of July. I say it Met Office. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM Ensemble. It's actually trying to build a bit of a ridge. Um, no, that was slightly more positive. We're starting to, uh, to at least try and turn things uh, a bit drier when we get through to the 10-day time frame. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and it will get us to the 23rd of July. 22 members of the ECM and Simons keep it unsettled with low pressure to the north of Scotland and a westerly flow. Uh, we've got 21, though, building in the Azores High, and that will bring drier and warmer conditions. Not heat wave, but drier and warmer. And then we've got 8, taking the high pressure much further north, takes us up towards Iceland and sets up a trough underneath it. <laughs> and so that will be very unsettled, actually. Although that trough is not particularly deep, uh, that's the kind of pattern that could bring some more uh, really heavy rain into more southern parts of the country. So all looking a little bit mixed, all looking a little bit inconclusive. That's like an outlier. Uh, they're like outlier options, I think. But, I mean, it's like 22 here that are unsettled and 21 that are more settled. So basically, it's a 50-50 split. If we ignore the eight, it's basically a 50-50 split as to where we are in two weeks' time. Quite a bit of uncertainty. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar high tides breaking down to weak periods. The first week period takes from the 8th to the 14th of July. Low pressure is to the south and southwest. High pressure is away to the northwest, and so that brings the most unsettled conditions into the south. Week 2 is going to be, come on, highlighter, 15th to 21st of July with high pressure. Uh, further north was probably a shallow trough through here. Uh, so, of course, it'll be a little bit mixed as well, but it should be dry up in the north. Week 3 <laughs> will be the uh, 22nd, 28th of uh, July. Low pressure just out to the west. That keeps things a bit unsettled. CFS has shifted today to a more unsettled outlook, I'm afraid. Um, and then week 4 will be the 29th of July to the 4th of August, with a ridge to the south and to the east. Low pressure in the Atlantic, which probably places us into a west or southwesterly flow. And uh, the most unsettled conditions with that are up in the north. But the CFS has kind of wobbled today on its idea of an extended run of high pressure that it's been showing over the past several days.
We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone. For doing that, why not drop a comment? Let's know uh, what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web is. Get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Okay, I'll just tell you coming up on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have the UK weather forecast. We will have the extended ECMWF uh, forecast next 30 slash 40 days. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And bye for now.